boys and girls, it's Miss Briley here for Wednesday's math lesson. Before we get started with our lesson, we're going to warm up our brains by playing a maths game. I am going to say an action, like clap, hold up fingers, jump or nod your head. I'm then going to show you a digit card with a number on it like this. You need to do the action that many times. Are you ready? Ooh, what's that? Can you jump this many times? What was the number? It's number five. Let's jump five times. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's do another. Oh, are you ready? I'd like you to nod your head this many times. What's the number? It's number six. Let's nod our heads six times. Are you ready? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more. Ooh, it's this one. I'd like you to hold up this many fingers. Have you done it? What's this number? It's number seven. Hold up seven fingers. Did you get seven fingers held up, boys and girls? Well done. Now we're ready to learn. Okay, to join in with this lesson fully, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your digit cards, numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You're also going to need your tens frame, which was in your work pack, and you're going to need some counting objects. You're going to leave, need at least 10 counting objects. So you could have dried pasta, you could have counters, you could have cereal or any other small object that you have. You could also use your counting sticks for this lesson, your number lines to help you, but you don't need these as I'll also have one on screen. Okay, let's get started. Okay, boys and girls, let's do some counting. You can use the counting line in your work pack to help you. Pick your favorite one, go and get it now. Are you ready? Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, boys and girls, I've got a challenge for you. I'm going to say a number on the number line and you need to point to it as quickly as you can. Are you ready? Are you steady? Seven. Did you get it? Okay, let's do another one. Point to the number 10. Okay, one more. Can you point to the number 12? Okay, now we're all warmed up. Let's move on. I am going to show you the side of a dice. You're going to need your digit cards to do this activity. You need to find the digit card that is shown on the dice. You then need to find one more than that number and one less than that number. So, for example, if my dice showed the number, um, number five, you would get your number five digit card out. You'd then get one more than five, which is six, and one less than five, which is four, and put them in order. Are you ready? What number is this? Find it on your digit cards. Then find one more than that number and one less than that number.
Have you done it? Pause the video if you need a bit more time. The number was three. Did you get that, boys and girls? One more than three is four, and one less than three is two. Let's do another one. What's this number? Quickly find it on your digit cards. Can you find one more than this number? Can you find one less than this number? Have you got it, boys and girls? If you need a bit more time, then pause the video. The number was five. Did you get that? One more than five is six. One less than five is four. Let's do another one. Ooh, what number's this, boys and girls? Quickly find it on your digit cards. What's one more than this number? What's one less than this number? Quick as you can. Pause the video if you need a bit more time. The number was two. Did you get it? One more than two is three. One less than two is one. What number is this? Can you find it on your digit card? If you need a bit longer, then pause the video now. It was five. There are five counters on my five frame. I'm showing you this number five ways. That is where we fill up a full length of five on our tens frame. I can see there are five more gaps that I would need to fill to make 10. That shows me that five and five more make 10. What number is this? Find it on your, um, on your digit cards. If you need a bit longer, then pause the video. The number was seven. Can you see seven counters, boys and girls? I can. I can see five counters at the bottom, filling up the bottom of my five frame, and two more on the top. This shows me that seven is made of five and two. I can also see there are three blank gaps on my tens frame. This shows me that three more would make ten. So seven add three would equal ten. What number is this, boys and girls? Can you find it on your digit cards? If you need longer, then pause the video. It was 10. My tens frame is filled up. There's no more gaps on it. That means that there are 10 counters on my ten frame. What number is this? Can you find it on your digit cards as quick as you can? Pause the video if you need a bit more time. It was eight. I can see eight counters on my, um, on my tens frame. There are five counters at the bottom and three more on top. This shows me that eight is made up of five and three. I can also see two gaps on my tens frame. This shows me that eight add two would equal 10. Two more than eight would make 10. How many counters are there on this tens frame? Find it on your digit cards as quick as you can. If you've got a bit of time, say what you can see. Pause the video if you need a bit more time. The number was six. I can see that six is made of five and one. Six is one more than five. I can see five counters at the bottom and one more on top. How many more would it take to make 10 boys and girls? There are four gaps on my tens frame. That shows me that I would need four more counters to make 10. 
6 add 4 would equal 10. What number is this, boys and girls? Find it as quick as you can on your digit cards. If you found the number already, say what you can see. How many more would it take to make 10? Pause the video if you need more time. It was number 9. Boys and girls, what numbers can you see within 9? I can see 5 and 4. There are five counters at the bottom, filling up the bottom of my five frame and four more on top. That shows me that nine is made of five and four. How many more counters would I need to fill up my, five, uh, my ten frame and make ten? One more counter would make ten. That shows me that nine add one makes ten. One more than nine would be ten. OK, boys and girls, to do the next part of this lesson, you're going to need your tens frame and some counting objects. You could use counters like I've been using, or you could use pasta, you could use cereal, or you could use any other small objects such as a pebble. You will need at least 10 of these objects. Go and get them now. OK, now you're back. I am going to show you a number on a digit card. As quickly as you can, you need to make that number on your tens frame. Can you make it five ways like I've been doing? Let's get started. What number is this, boys and girls? Can you make it on your tens frame? It was six. I have shown the number six on my tens frame. I filled up the bottom with five counters and then I've added one more on the top to make six. Have a look at my tens frame, boys and girls. How many more would I need to make ten? There are four gaps on my tens frame. This shows me that I would need four more counters to make ten. Six add four equals ten. Have a look at my tens frame, boys and girls. What numbers can you see? I can see five counters on the bottom and one more on top. This shows me that six is five add one. Let's do another one. What number is this, boys and girls? Make it on your tens frame. If you need more time, then pause the video. The number was five. I've shown five on my tens frame here. Can you see how it fills up half of my tens frame? There are five more gaps on my tens frame left. That shows me that five add five would equal 10. Let's do another one. What number is this, boys and girls? Can you, can you make it on your tens frame? Pause the video if you need more time. The number was eight. Can you see eight counters on my tens frame? What numbers can you see within eight? Can you see five? How many more than five? I can see five counters at the bottom and three more on top. This shows me that eight equals is five add three. How many more counters would I need to make 10? I would need two more counters to make 10. That shows me that 8 add 2 equals 10. OK, now it's your turn. You could race with an adult at home to make your number on a tens frame, or you could just see how quickly you can do it by yourself. To play the game, you're going to need your digit cards, a tens frame and your counting objects. Turn your digit cards upside down and shuffle them about so you don't know which number is where. Then you're going to turn over a digit card, quickly have a look at that number and make it on your tens frame as quickly as you can. Try and make the number five ways. 
the way that we've been showing today, with five at the bottom and then the rest on the top. Off you go, have fun!